Hello, oh dear, we are back in the Evil Within. Except it's not the Evil Within one. It's the it's the Evil Within two. I lost a lot of the footage for the first one, uh, so I'd have to have went all the way back. But anyway, the second one is out. If you want me to complete the first one, I will. I still have to play the DLC as well, so I'll probably end up recording that as well at some point. But here we are. I'll give you the opportunity to rewind. Uh, sorry, to fast forward. If you don't know what happened at the end of the first one, so do that now, and I'll do this when uh, it's uh, over. Okay. So basically, at the end of the first one, you know, Sebastian's like, "Oh, I've managed to. I'm no mental anymore." Well, he is mental because he's still fucked in the head because he kills uh, the weird fuck, the weird fucker that keeps trying to get him. He kills him with a rocket launcher. Which is a bit of a sort of shit ending, but anyway, this time he's still mental and he gets dragged right back into it. So let's just fucking get into this, cause I really, really want to play. I loved, I loved the first game. It's, some people were saying it wasn't as good. I beg to differ. I fucking loved it. Right, so if that's aim, Arsenal menu, that's that's basically the same as what well, was interact, reload. Mm -hmm. Cover, shoot. So, I mean, if I hold that, I'll be able to shoot. That's fine. Right, cool. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. The last chance. Yes, I do have the last chance thing. I've got. I don't know Kim, what are they? I don't know Kim, what are they? They are. But, oh well. Okay, right. We will be doing it on survival. I'm not doing it on nightmare. You can fuck off. Enjoyed the difficulty of the, the previous game. No. I don't know you'd like to be aim assisted aim as well. I'm gonna lock your tuck no. Disabled, because Yeah, I like I like I, li I like uh, aiming, so. Oh! What's going on? Home engulfed in flames, tragic fire kills child nanny. Well obviously we we, we were told about his daughter. And the first one there was all the stories about how the house burnt down and he lost his daughter and she died. But did she really die? Mommy, daddy, that's nice. Creepy, creepy children. Chapter no. one. No, no, this is not happening. Okay, well run then, yeah. Oh, I better fucking run! Oh, we're back, we're right, right into the story here, aren't we? Okay, so like... Oh no, God, oh, God Lily! Lily. Let's, let's boot the door at you. You're running quicker than that, tell you that now. Fucking boom! Boot that door! Fucking boot that door behind you! Oh, well, there we go. You better bunt there. Yeah. You would though, you'd be fucking running in there. Smashing all the windies, all that shit. There we go, there's another door. Get that fucking door open. Kick the door open again. Boot it. Oh, there we go. There's a chair. Smash the windy. Here we go. Smashing the windy. Smoke Billy, inhalation. I'm here. Where are take you? Your, take your. Oh God, oh. she's stairs. Oh well, that's handy. Okay, right. So here we are. Uh, the couches are still all right. That's great. There's nothing in here. Cool. All right. Well, How did this happen? Why would you know we're running? Come on. That door open, there we go. Fucking open that door. See the running for? You the fuck? <coughs> I'm coming, Lily. Just hold on. Get up the fucking st Jesus Christ man, what's this boy on? McKenny's not exactly the most spry of people, but fuck me. I'm here, Lily! I'm Listen, here! Get duck get duck duck under that. There we go. Right, where is she? Go on. Not going that way. Go this way, she's probably in this room here, maybe. Right, Damn so this it, is where it. is she? Dad, Makes sense she was running to mummy and daddy's room. Or maybe she's stuck in her own room, I don't know. Right, so right, that that that's Lily's room there, because it's got all the like, girl stuff on Lily? it. Lily! here. And then there's Come on out! Fuck. Lily! Where are you? I'm here! Dad's here! Where is you she? You weren't here for me, Dad. Oh god. <laughs> Let's 
just gonna run right through him. Oh god. No! You didn't save me! Oh, that's fucking terrifying. Fucking hell. That was nasty. Oh well, Sebastian has turned to the drink to deal with uh, his problems. <laughs> That's no good, Sebastian. Come on. Oh. Kidman? Hello, Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? Why'd you look so weird? And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was gonna happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like that psychologist that forced shoved down my throat. But okay. he didn't have answers. You do. She You're gonna tell me about Mobius. She must have done something in the DLC, the first one. Oh god. Oh fuck, these boys are. Oh god. It's Wesker. I'm here because of this. What the fuck? Did you get this? Oh God! Yeah, Are you he's still content. alive. Eh? How? How? Lily is dead. I read the police report. I was at her funeral. We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily is alive, and she's with us, but she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! Where do you go so fast? Oh, for God's sake, why? I was hoping you'd come willingly, Sebastian. But we don't have time for this bullshit. We need you. Lily needs you. <laughs> he done a number on him, like. <laughs> Fucking goddamn it, like. Sebastian? You're awake. Good. Yeah. Great. I'm just keen on how, how she looks. Where are we? You're in one of our facilities. Oh, for fuck's sake! So this sake. is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed up ex-cop to help them. So he's definitely <laughs> lost his job. Still intact. He's definitely lost Nothing his job. To be fair, you would uh, lose your, Lily? your cool if uh, all this shit all in the first game happened to you. Right this is really off our fuck's sake. The Beacon Mental Hospital incident was an unfortunate setback. Uh, but we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. Why? What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Who is it? Is it the fucking doctor? Happiness for one is happiness for all. Maybe not. This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. We needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. The mind of an innocent child. 
You connected Lily to that machine? Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Well, you're a prick. Thanks to her, the new STEM has been a smashing success. Until recently. A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch. An easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them, and STEM went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. I am providing you an opportunity. Not only to see your daughter again, but to save her life. For fuck's Something sake, you man. thought you failed to do before. You can save her. This guy looks like an evil or prick. Let her die. Just, just the look at him. He looks like an evil prick. It's your choice. If you seen him in the street, you'd be like, he's an evil dick. You would. Hey, you want to tell me what the fuck's going on here? I'm going to put my fucking head back in this shit. God Good damn luck, it, Sebastian. And please, try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. No, I don't want to. I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. That's all right. I'm fine by myself. The audio is a bit jumpy. Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily, so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. Fuck's sake, man. This is going to go, this shit's going to go sideways very quickly. Else will be in there for you. Eh? Who? Are you ready? Someone else is going to be in there. Who? Oh god. Oh god. That guy just... He screams evil! He's done this. He's done this. Be careful in there, Sebastian. We're counting on you. Fucking counting on myself? STEM entry in three, two, one. Oh, that is trippy as fuck. I oh, don't ask me a sword. What the fuck? I swear if I see Rubik again in this, I swear to god. Okay, so he's standing in water, so he's Jesus. Can I control him? The evil within too. Ah! Very good, right. Just gonna keep walking towards the light. The light could be dead, you know. Oh, and it's me. Okay. Is this... Where am I? <sighs> Fuck! Oh, look, there's a house. It's a house. Dad, help me! Oh, I'm back in. Dad! Run! Done in the first well, I know it's gonna... hard to accept Myra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No, no, I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. To be fair, she was right. <laughs> what the hell is this place? Oh, fuck, fuck it out. Detective, we've got a call. Please stop reminding me of the fucking first game. There was enough 
traumatic shit in the first game for you to traumatise me ten times over. Oh look, a telephone! Fuck's sake, man. I'm liking this so far though. Hello? Oh. What the? Oh my god. That's weird. Hello? Hello? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman? What? Snap out of it, Sebastian. You've made it in safely. How are you feeling? Terrible. Right. Like the worst hangover ever. Don't worry. It will pass once your mind has adjusted. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. That's how we're able to maintain communication with you. This construct is called a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. My memories, huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? Did I go out the door? Okay, so the, there should, should be something. Oh, a cat. Hello. I don't ever remember owning a cat. Oh, hello. Hello, put a cat. Hello. That's a fucking scary cat. It's got red eyes. <laughs> Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? That's from a pre phone camera reader. These are found mostly in old people's attics and estate sales. They can be viewed using a slide protector in Sebastian's room. Okay, cool. I want to speak to the cat. Hello, pussy cat. Hello, meow. Okay, so I'm just going to put this on. Fine then. Bastard cat. Right, slide protect projector. Okay. So. Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. I, I, You've I lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. Yeah. Alright. Fair enough. Oh, hello, Pusika. Hello, Pusika. Green gel, it's gross and it comes from dead enemies. You can get increased. So it's Thanks, the same. Kitty. <laughs> Thanks, kitty cat. Who's a good kitty? Who's a kitty? It's gonna jump back on the desk. Go then. It's gonna jump back on the desk. <laughs> no, I just want. I, I just wanted. I just wanted to clap the cat. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I just wanted. To, I just wanted to clap the cat. That's all. Okay, whatever. Bloody cat. What's this? Safe terminal. Okay, okay, then. okay, so that's that. That's that saved then. Right, um. I call. Uh, well, let's get. Let's get. Let's get more information of what the fuck is going on there. <clears throat> Cat's very loud, very proud. He also likes sitting on the desk, apparently. And then else I can pick up in here. Oh, I can move the move, move the the chairs. <laughs> Just get out my way. Okay. Right, there must be a door or something in here. So unless there's like, unless I can go back in here and it's gonna <laughs> put this back open. <laughs> Okay, so I got green gel. Oh, what's this? My first commendation. Feels like another lifetime. I guess because it was. 
It's a shame for Sebastian. I do, I do feel sorry for him. I mean, obviously, I don't feel as sorry because he keeps fucking. Like, he didn't, he didn't even run. Agents here. He didn't even run. The last team, I see. From uh, to his daughter. Any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. Mm -hmm. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily too. Union. This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing too, huh? If anyone can do it, mm. you. Thanks for the vote oh, yeah. of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. Okay. Right, okay, so... Baker. Chapter 2. Team leader. He's the guy I should try to find first. Should he really? Okay. I mean, is that something that I... Okay, so we've got William Baker. Harrison. Combat specialist, huh? Mm -hmm. Hopefully he can take care of himself. So we've got Miles Harrison, who looks slightly like uh, Michael Schofield. <laughs> O'Neill. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. Bloody hell. Okay. Uh, we've got the token black person. No offense. Sykes. There's always one though. A tech, but at least he has some small arms training. And Chinese person. Now I'm gonna go out on a whim and say that she's like like a big IT specialist or something. Hoffman. Surveillance, there you go, see? Something to do with computers, that's this just racist. <laughs> That is a rice. What's that at the bomb? Lily, your team, and now me. We're all stuck inside STEM. I still don't understand why you can't just take them all out of their pods and wake them up. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. To forcibly remove anyone from STEM at this point would kill them and leave their consciousness trapped inside there. Great. Mobius has got some stellar backup plans. Stating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. Right. We need to find Lily. Otherwise she, you, and everyone else inside is going to die. Great. Well, that is very helpful. Thank you very much for telling me all the people that I have to go and save. So I'm saving five, five people who are agents. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Mirror. I got me right there. Just like Beacon. Just wasn't expecting that. Should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? Right, so it's chapter two. Got to chapter two now. I'm going to save it here. Thank you very much for watching. This is going to be a fucking great game. I hope, I hope it doesn't, uh, well, something's, something not quite right. Well, that's fucking stating the obvious. But, uh, aye. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.